and today's video is all about Google Slides versus Microsoft PowerPoint, both online pieces of free software. So the big deal here, and I will demonstrate this in a second, is that I wish, like you probably, I hope, to choose the right tool for the job. And that's really, really difficult um, sometimes when these free pieces of software, and I'm just going to press L on the keyboard and you'll notice I've gone straight over to a laser pointer. Um, the reason I've got needle in a haystack with one of my photographs on the left is because with this free software we get, whether it's Google Slides, PowerPoint or anything else, we use them across mobile and desktop, often all at the same time doing many amazing things and they have amazing features which are really hard to find sometimes. When we do find them our life becomes easier our workflow faster and easier and often at the bottom here help pages are missed by the user or quite honestly badly written sometimes by the people who make the software. One such example here is a little feature which I've seen which I've only just discovered a couple of seconds ago. I always know that Google Slides will download as a JPEG or a PNG image one current slide at a time, one at a time. The slide set I've actually got is got about 55 to 58 different slides. However, if I literally open that up in Microsoft PowerPoint at OneDrive, in one click I can download da sorry, download all images as a zip file. So there'll be 58 separate images immediately. Can you imagine doing 58 different versions in Google Slides. That was the example here. Let me go and demonstrate a couple of these features um, live and then we'll end this video. So I titled it Google Slides versus Microsoft PowerPoint. So in other words, the first thing which I thought was really handy is I'm actually using, uh, let me just, just demonstrate this to make sure it's absolutely right. Look, here I am in Google Slides, I wish to present. Okay, obvious statement. Then we go in and the thing loads up. Now. If you go down to tips, you do get some presenting shortcut uh, keyboard strokes down here. You also get some for the video player. To keep this um, concise, I'm only going to look at three. First one, I'm going to press B on my keyboard, three, two, one, press. You notice that it's just gone black, which I think is really good because if you actually wanted to literally be here and say, do, do you know what, I'll, I'll put a lot on screen here, just for a moment, let's just pause. I'll take a question or I'll explain something where I don't want to confuse it with something on the screen and you can press B and it comes back again, maybe at the start, maybe at the end, who knows. The other one of course equally is if I press W, you've got uh, quite a stronger white coming up, white and off again. And once again, if I wanted to get, you see my mouse pointer, I could go down bottom screen obviously and press laser pointer and then I've got the laser pointer but what little did I know that I can press L and I've got my mouse which is quite nice because it's like a little white pointer and the moment I press it, it disappears move the mouse and I've got laser pointer those were the three there let's swap over and show you what I mean by all slides on PowerPoint because on Google Slides literally if I go here look and I would say oh, I've got a slide in here somewhere can you see that why I haven't I have not added a text title so therefore everything's blank I've got no clue what I'm doing let's contrast that with a version of more or less just a bunch of example slides here so the first thing is I go to slideshow play from the beginning if you like and then I can go on here and I can literally click and it will go to the the next slide and I can use uh, arrows and things like that now to look at the bottom left, if I click see all slides, then what happens is that I've got a ton of slides literally that I can thumb through and go, I knew there was one in here somewhere. Sometimes you might want to flick right to the very end to look at some references or something. If you want to look at some random references and I've just tapped it, one, two, three in its own time and it goes off obviously to you know something else I was doing. Then I can actually if I wish to, I go, I've lost my place now, I can go back up again and I can click one, two, three and it comes through a little bit quicker. Also right click next previous, go to slide is there which is quite useful but again it's meaningless to me because I don't know my slide numbers unless I've got them written down but see all slides is 
very, very interesting, something that Google Slides does not do. So I think, quite honestly, that is where we are at a level where, let me just go back into that again, how much time have we done? Five and a half minutes, I would say well spent. If you want to get a bit of awareness about, for me personally, I always use Google Slides, I would say from now on, choose the right tool for the job. In other words, it's very, very easy in my experience to swap some online Microsoft PowerPoint slides easily into Google Slides, Google Slides easily into PowerPoint. Really, really easy to use the right tool for the job, especially this See All Slides, which I think is pretty useful, I would say. Have a lovely um, day today and good luck with it. Not sure, ask a question.